All right, we're with Schmier of Destruction in Denver, Colorado at the Oriental Theater. I mean, we've been there many years, and it was a great fucking experience to work with MB. And uh, yeah, we've been five years on a different label, and uh, you know, we're still cooperating with them over the last years with merchandise and other things. And uh, yeah, I've kind of left a lot of friends when I left the label. So uh, they had just uh, been the best label we were on. So it was kind of just a normal thing to, you know, ask them if, we're, if they want us back. So I was really happy to. To return, it's like you know, we have a close relationship. It's like coming, coming back home, basically. So, yeah, it's it's been a great step for us to return. Now the big three or four in Germany. What's the chance of that happening? Do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to do it since years. It's been, you know, a little difficult here and there because the other ones are touring a lot. Sodom doesn't want to tour that much, so we have to find a way in finding a solution in between. But we're talking, I and mean, we're uh, actually, I'm positive that it's going to happen in 2012 or 13. Uh, I mean, 2013 is basically the year th European thrash metal started, you know. So that would be, for me, the anniversary year would be perfect to do it. And I will see those, those guys soon again, and we talk about it, and uh, I'm very positive it's going to happen next year or 2013. Touring here in the United States compared to Europe or South America, any opinions on the, the differences? Yeah, it's you know it's a big country, you know, and uh, and uh, a lot of shit can happen. Like buses can break. That always happens to us. So, uh, I mean, basically Europe is is a lot closer. The borders are now open now, so everything is very easy to tour. And uh, the states are so huge, you know. So it's um, when we come to the states, we come to you know to say hello to the fans we don't come here to make any money because it's almost impossible on our level because the country is so big traveling is so expensive now the, the gas prices are higher again and uh, but it's you know we're we love to play for the fans and uh, we always get good support you know usa is one of our still of our major markets and uh, we want to come back also hopefully on the second leg of this tour because now we're in like four weeks and uh, that's not touching all the cities so we're trying to come back and play some other cities that are not on this tour oh yeah i mean you know there's of course places that are difficult to play but we got offers now for this year this uh doing some more eastern stuff which would be like um, you know indonesia and malaysia india that stuff would be interesting there's a lot of metal fans down there, a lot, but there's no money. So, you know, the problem is there's like 2,000 fans coming to the show, but they only pay paying like $5. That's not even paying the flights, you know. So you have to find a way to, to make it happen. And it's like yeah, yeah, we did it in China. I mean, China is the same thing. It's costing a lot of money to play there. And, uh, but uh, yeah, we're, we're up for that. You know, we were one of the first bands that played in some really weird countries, so. Uh, I'm looking forward to, to this Eastern stuff. And uh, of course, you know, we want to play in some Arabian countries one day because there's a lot of heavy metal fans in, in uh, Arabian countries, but they get oppressed by the government or by the religious beliefs there. But I think one day it's going to hopefully happen. I mean, I know some countries already are more open now and shows are happening. So that would be also a dream to, to play for our fans in, in Arabian countries. Yeah, it was a cool thing, you know, because it's not so famous in Europe. The diehards know, but uh, when they asked me to to uh, join, I brought in some friends, you know, and uh, it's of course an honor, you know, to to be involved in something like this. And now it's getting more famous in, in Europe too, you know, like people are digging the shit. Are you a fan of the show? Yeah, of course, it's killer. Yeah. In March of last year, it was officially announced that Mark will leave the band. How long did it take you to find Bubber, and how did you find him? Yeah, I mean, the thing with Mark was already planned for a while, you know, where he said beginning of uh, 2010 we will, you know, announce the departure. And, uh, yeah, Vavre was uh, one of the first guys that auditioned, you know, and um, he was recommended by some friends, or some Polish friends that worked for us, worked for BM Moth Invader. So, yeah, he, he blew us away by his professionalism and his, uh, his skills. So when he invited him to come by, we found out that Polish people and German people have love co in common, you know, like both, both parties like to drink. 
whose parties can work really hard and uh, so we get along very good with Polish people in general so that worked really good we had some other great guys you know and um, but uh, yeah I'm happy to have him in the band it works really well speaking of the Savage Symphony the history of Annihilation um, after Sodom released their history of the band DVD did you feel that was necessary to make something like that as well you wanted to do something like this before but it was kind of a you know, finding the right people to film the history and stuff because it's a it's a long process of uh, filming and preparing shit and cutting stuff. And uh, for the first DVD, it was just not possible for for us to do that. And for the second one, we said it's the 25 years now, so we found the right uh, company to work with. And uh, it was also important that the whole band, old members, everybody was ready to be involved. You know. Otherwise, it would have made no sense to do it. But by, by, by the time 2007, we were like a family again. You know, all the problems were gone, and everybody been friends again since many years. It wasn't always like this, you know. So uh, I think, yeah, I'm proud on that piece of history because uh, in some years I will look back and, and uh, yeah, it shows a lot of yeah weird shit that happened to the band, and uh, it was also my first view what the others had to say you know I, I saw the final cut in the end and there was a lot of stuff in there that I didn't know actually a book was just released about creator called violent evolution is that something you would be interested in doing in the future as well of course always interesting yeah you know so much shit happens on tour people would not believe you could write a few books I could write a few books yeah do you know why the releases in the years you were not in the band not in the official destruction catalog and instead are released under Neo Destruction? That's uh, because basically there was no record label involved, you know, and those um, records are not really available in the market also. Those guys who printed the albums back in the day didn't do reprints and stuff and yeah, and you know, those albums differ a lot from the, from the original sound of Destruction, so yeah, we, we try to keep this away from the original discography because people, yeah, first of all, can't get the album, and second, they may be surprised about the sound of the albums because it just sounds different. It's not a typical thrash sound. So, yeah, maybe the one day they're going to be released. Out. I have no idea, actually. I told the guys to do that, but they're a little bit slow. You had a couple albums with two guitars. What made you decide to go back just with Mike? Less people, less problems, you know. Like we like the three piece, we started like this and it works really good like this, so never say never, you know, we're maybe one day we're gonna be four piece again, but at the moment it's great like this. And are you still doing stuff with Headhunter? Yeah, if I have time, you know, next year maybe. I I have you know, Headhunter is like a great hobby for me and I I enjoy doing it but I need some time for it. It should not be like part of work. It should be part of a Having a good time with my friends, recording another album, and uh, with the other guys already, I I got material already. So maybe next year, when destruction has a little break after all the touring, there will be time. I'm up for it. I know there's a lot of people still waiting for another one, so there's good chances. And last question for you: uh, Do you have any thoughts or solutions? to the problem we have now with people downloading albums for free. Uh, it's not like it used to be with the purchasing. Do you have any idea, you know, CDs are now even being phased out in favor yeah. of uh, digital media downloads. Do you have any ideas or solutions of what could help uh, keep the record to the music industry alive as far as sales go? Any thoughts on that? No, it's it's kind of hard, you know. Uh, people just don't have the, you know, the, the respect anymore, you know, that's a problem. Downloading was too easy in the last years and people are too much used to it to not pay for albums anymore. So I guess it's too late to do something about it now. I mean, the labels try to do it, but basically it's like stealing. I mean, you know, you don't steal your beers from the bar. You don't you don't steal your food at the store, but everybody's stealing music those days. And, uh, you know, it's going to affect the scene. It's going to affect everybody at one point because, you know, good bands will have no more money to to do albums at one day. So people should really think about if they like an album to buy it and not just download it. Yeah, and plus uh, with no more money coming in, it's going to be discouraging for musicians like yourself to go back into the studio. And of you course. know that there's not going to be much money coming back And anybody out. can yeah. record albums at home, it's going to sound like shit again. 
you know that's not yeah. it's not what we need but uh, yeah people should you know be aware of that that they, with every record they like they support the artist and they should buy it uh, merchandise shows in the CD obviously if yeah. you can right all right well thanks for taking your time out my pleasure appreciate it and have a good rest of the tour thank you thank you